Let's do it. Neebs, come in here. Yep. Apps are get comfortable. I am working on it. I'm working on it. Ada Hop, put your pants back on. No. Nope. Well, Simon's outside for a minute. Yep, frolicking, as yeah. he does. <laughs> he, he loves to go out in the yard you and know. He does. He just frolics about. Uh, this is a comment taking comments, and Simon's got all the comments. <laughs> yeah. He sold them he hostage. Walked out. Oh, boy. Ada Hop's banging the mic around. <laughs> Naked. Uh, <we> yeah. Just... <laughs> Got off the recording of a fresh Minecraft, the freshest of fresh. Oh, it's so fresh. Are you looking for one, Nabes? I was, maybe. I mean, Start it, off with one? I've oh. never done this on my phone. I can I'm, try, though. I've got a comment right now from Thick44. Oh, what's Thick44 have to say? Thick44 says he's having a little bit of fun playing Minecraft. Oh, my God. <laughs> you go back and forth on that a lot. I do. <laughs> like, I go back and forth on Just in today's on, recording, yeah. you said, I got to get out of here and go play Battlefield. Well, yeah, I was getting a little frustrated flip-flops uh, because uh that's my key to happiness or to key to making myself feel better if i play apex or something and i do bad then i just get on battlefield and i farm everybody do you i do go farming on battlefield what does that mean i just kill everyone oh you do yeah because you get the kills top do you three. subscribe to like Teenage Weekly and <laughs> where do you get about? these phrases from what are you talking about you just come it, in with that's a, like an old phrase Farm like farming everybody. nudes Farming noobs. Farming noobs. I, I, in, in, his, in his heard that term? In his defense, he has he, he has a teenager in his house. Gotcha. That's, that's not that's, where that's I where heard he's it. Getting these words. Yeah. Okay. I think you said gooch the other day. He did. Like, yeah. That gooch. was that was like a funny thing though. That's was like oh. that the kid. Yeah. He was I don't even clowning about. Say. I, that was clowning. <laughs> Farming noobs is like that's the term that's been around for years. Simon, it's we've... just noobs. You're completely disconnected from everything because again are you trying to single out one person that's against you here because i feel like Astro is on my Astro's side Astro's a hillbilly just like you well, it's that's both two. of you anybody else Which i part? disagree with you thick okay you you just walked in you don't know not a clue <laughs> <laughs> no idea hey you're holding the comments hostage you i are. am i am but it is well, we're gonna He's start just trying right to Beat you to the punch. Look, to fill hey, look I got a comment already. Oh, it's not even going to take a um, screenshot. Oh, crap. I turned oh, my God. phone sideways. Phone. All right. You know what? I'm going to snap this. I know how to snap a picture on my phone. Finally, Grandpa. And uh, let's see. Well, if I. <laughs> He's going to want that cropped old... out, though. He doesn't want it like that. Let's see, please. Ooh, he's farming comments. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I just screen grabbed. Neves at the club doing the Watusi. Like this it's is from new. Dario. Catherine. Dario. Catherine is back. No, no. And Dario says. <laughs> no. Who's going? Go ahead. Okay, mine's from Minecraft, and I think, hopefully we all know this now, but please don't spam click when attacking a mob. That makes me so angry. Man. saw several comments about that. Yeah, me too, and that's why I didn't do it today. Okay. I didn't Lessons listen. have been learned. I didn't even well, listen so to that. If you notice, Simon, uh, when you have your sword out and you swing it, there's a little bitty tiny sword, sword icon. meter. And it goes from full white to like grayed out, and then the white grows. You don't get a full like... Hit. Power swing. It's power hit until it goes back to white. Damn. All right. Well, today t today we're going to be learning. <laughs> okay. It's, it, it's like, I think that's intuitive with a lot of people. Just click, 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 click. Oh, yeah. In the heat of the moment. Yeah. You just um, yeah, Your finger just goes nuts. Yeah. Well, on seven days, Catherine Maximo gives us a very obvious thing that we didn't know. Somebody tell them safes might be hidden behind those portraits. Yeah. Every freaking portrait. We need to bust. Well, last uh, the last episode we recorded, I think I discovered that. I think I, hit a, I, I hit a portrait, and I was like, what's stuff behind here? Hit you, another one. There's, there's something behind this we one. We got to go back to the Bates Motel. Oh, yeah. We missed all those a lot portraits. Of portraits. Well, yeah, that's good to know. Portrait. If you see a portrait, smack it. Yep. And I also saw in one of the comments, uh, actually, right now, Gooba Jungle Boy says, break the wall around the wall safes. Safes will fall to the floor, Ooh. fall to the floor and break open. Ooh, now, what? now listen, I know. Then I want to get in now. Starling, <laughs> Starling <laughs> Ann says, "Oh, thanks. Going to try this." And Garabot below says, "I'll be so mad and grateful too if this works." And then Cuba <laughs> Jungle Boy says, "Well, it used to work. It's oh, possible. No, it's been it's bad. possible that they fixed it, but yeah, can can also work on gun safes." If you break the floor under it oh, and break the wall behind it, I got a question. It seems like it'd be such an easy, yeah. Well, science. So, mm. a lot of things in seven days, the loot comes back. Does that happen in a safe? Yes. I have no Oh, idea. I don't know. <laughs> yes. Because, like, Very if you check a box Simon. or a bag, you yeah. come back two weeks later, there's loot in there. I would, if I were to guess, I would guess no. If you broke it, definitely not. Right. I don't even know. open science. I would or still maybe guess no. Somebody probably knows. Does does Ada Hop know? Ada Hop. Nope. I'm waiting on the loading bar. Okay. Okay. He, he's not listening. <laughs> so, 
before uh, you go to the next comment, um, this might be one of your comments, Simon, but I certainly read a bunch of people going, why didn't you wait till Alpha 18? I know. I didn't. It's not one of my comments, but we should address it. There's nothing official out there, but I didn't want to search if there was. We well, thought about it. We have thought yeah, about we it. Did we did think about, about it. it. My, personally, I, I feel like if Alpha 18 does come out, um, we should switch into that. Immediately. 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 And then just come up with how, whatever the excuse for uh, starting for... I don't... Or at least finish the horde that yeah, we're I was going to say that. Oh, yeah. And then yeah. switch. We would, we would finish out the horde night on Alpha 17 and then switch over. Yeah, right. And hopefully when we switch, it just it doesn't mess anything up. Hopefully. But you never know. But I feel like we should switch regardless. And Yeah, uh, absolutely. Yeah. yeah, I don't mind. Yeah, no, I think that'd be easy. And the reason why we're doing commenting on comments is because of Jared Smith. Just because of Jared? The Jared pioneer. Mm -hmm. The he, pioneer. He founded uh, Montana. Mon yes. Yes. Founded Montana and started Six Flags. Still not one in Montana because apparently he's got a chip on his shoulder. Yeah. About them for Ooh. some reason. Uh, I've noticed they don't mention comments no more. Why? My brother and I love the anticipation of one-on-one -on -one comments being mentioned on COC. Which sadly they never found our comments in the thousands of comments mm. in their videos. Mm, I like your delivery on that. <laughs> Listen, we love you guys, and you're the reason for this. So go to bed smiling. <laughs> we care about your comments. We do. Well, I, I know we wanted to work comments as like a smaller section of the podcast. Just I, never I mean, I've enjoyed like the past several podcasts where it's just like more just conversation. Yeah, personally, it's fun, like mm -hmm. I like comments, but when but I, I feel like for a while comments just became the entire podcast. Yeah, they were. Yeah, it yeah. was. It was named after that. Yeah, yeah. of course. But, but yeah, I was like at, I, the, at the end, it would still always be good to have at least a few, but it would forget, or I would forget. So. Anywho, here they are. Uh, Larry Sims says you guys should check out Carl's corn on the map. There is a pig named Gracie, and she will kept you fed. Did you? Was that the pig farm that you went oh. to? I don't. I think doubt it. So. I don't how would, think a, how so. would a pig keep you fed? I don't know. I guess because you'd kill the pig, and it would keep probably, you fed. They probably fat have to do pig. a little. Research. Well, well, I mean, what you kill is it's not a renewable resource. I'll right. kill no. anything that moves. Neebs and I found something fun. No spoilers, though. Okay. Well, I don't but. even know where Carl's corn is on the map. I feel like map. I've seen that, but yeah, yeah it's, it's not the farm we're staying at. No. Carl's corn. I don't know. Carl's All right. Well, it was something. I, when, I, when I saw the we'll comment. We'll keep an eye out for it, though. Uh, yeah. You know, just to interrupt one more time, Go. rudely, uh, how we did find the Fates uh, motel. You know, mm -hmm. I heard or I read a comment that said there was also the Evil Dead cabin. I might have what? pulled that oh, one. Oh, I want to see it so bad. The Evil yes. Dead cabin or like the mansion? The cabin. What the mansion? Cabin. Were there pirates what? in Evil <laughs> Dead? What were you talking about? <laughs> I thought oh, he was going to go, I'm sorry. I, my, my brain went Resident <laughs> Evil. Oh, yeah. No, no, I went to a No, I went to something good. So I, I might have pulled that comment. Resident we'll Evil's say. good. Is it? I don't know. Yeah. The yeah. movies? No, hell no. Not oh, because we're... Yeah. We're, we're, about the no, game. the video games. Oh, yeah. Or some I, of the video games. Yeah, they have some that are better than others. I haven't obviously. played a Resident Evil since Dude, play the remake. No, the Resident three. Evil games are great. The movies yeah. are garbage. Yeah, Evil Dead 2 is fun. What was the one where that guy's just slowly chasing you? Jason? Mm, uh, Resident Evil 2, kind of oh. like the remake kind of has yeah. that. Yeah, oh, the yeah, guy yeah, shows the up, you dude. can't kill him, and he's yeah. just stalking you the whole time? Yeah, yeah that, that's the last one I played. But I played that on PS2 or PS3. Gotcha, yeah, back in the day. Yep. And then but that might have also been Nemesis because they had another guy chasing you. That was kind of a theme in the Resident Evil This guy games. was a big dude. Yep. Yeah, you couldn't kill him. Yeah. So he, okay. it was either two or three. Okay. I'd love Whatever. it if it was a real tiny, not intimidating. <laughs> like a baby zombie. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Minecraft Constantly little guy. Constantly nipping at your heels. It was Stephen Hawking. That'd be spooky. Yeah. <laughs> The ghost somebody, is the, somebody oh. I've, I've seen mods on PC where somebody's uh, replaced that guy with, uh, with like, Shrek. <laughs> so, yeah, Shrek comes after you. Will, will you guys see if I can find it. Promise me something. Yeah. If if one of you find the Evil Dead cabin, um, will you wait for me? Because I want to come so bad. I know that that cabin well in my mind. I think okay. you should be the one to find it. No, well, I'd gladly go with you. I don't know how that's going to happen. I don't know where it is, but just in case, you know. Okay. I don't know if anyone else likes the I movie. I probably won't recognize it, so okay. I'll well, try not to. I okay. think uh, Absor is looking for it right now. Isn't no, he? he's, looking he's looking for the for mod. Oh, okay. The Shrek. Well, we, in the meantime. We all okay. know what Shrek looks like. Uh, <laughs> it's Go good. Sorry, right. it's good. Mr. Mischief? 
mm-hmm. says also points out you like know, a troublemaker. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Uh, the pictures behind the wall, you know, the stuff behind the walls. But then says most all big landmarks have large quantities of loot at the top and pay special attention to where the lights in these structures are mm-hmm. pointing like the flashlight in the Fates Motel. Yeah, I remember seeing that. So oh. interesting to know about the pointing lights. And there was one light, I remember mm. there was a flashing light at, on one of the porches that I went into with somebody. So there's clues there's that clues. guide you. So ah. the lights in there, and the, whether they're on the Did outside. Did you have a comment about how to get into these places? I don't want to mess up your flow of comments. Uh, I don't know. Anyway, so someone's saying usually there's a way in without breaking something, Mm -hmm. and that's the path. You can kind of get sneaky, right? Go in through an opening, follow the flashlights, and make because anytime you make noise, the zombies just come at you. So maybe if you get crouched down, get your bow and arrow, start Mm -hmm. sneaking through there. Mm -hmm. Yeah, don't. Yeah, there's a. Is there a multiplier when you damage a zombie without being seen? I feel like there's a multiplier. Yeah, if you're crouched, you get a headshot. I think it's a lot. Gotcha. So plans to go into these places with the goal not to be seen at all be fun yeah ross campanella says it's painful to watch you guys drag the items into your inventory when you just can hold shift and it goes automatically you'll get over it buddy but you guys all know that now i yeah i do i do now i remember at times i will forget get in a bag r r is your buddy r is my buddy r Take all. All right. So uh, there is just a lot of a lot of things that needed to be said. Uh, I'm pretty sure Neves was running around with a broken leg when th- that went untreated. Broken bones don't magically vanish when you die in 17. I don't think I've had a broken leg in 17 yet. You just die over yeah. and over. You didn't break it at all, and then no, and then when you oh, no, because no. you have a broken leg icon once you break it, and you have to have a splint to fix it. I've not needed a splint yet this season. I don't think I have either. Well, Ryan Lester, you're lucky. I didn't know what the hell I was doing when I picked your comment. <laughs> uh, you made the cut. Yep. Unless uh, I got one and died before I knew about it. Yeah. Right. And yes, Throgren said, you guys can also find the cabin from Evil Dead. So I did have that comment. Yeah. I want it. Thank you, Throgren. And I'm, I'm my last comment right here. This is breezing right through them. Jeez, yeah, okay. <laughs> Bam. Yeah. And then, it's almost like they're a chore. You're just like, oh, I get these over with. And then we talk. No, they're interesting because we suck so much. Guys, each building has a special path. Uh, this is a repeat. Oh, read this kind of stuff. <laughs> wow. Hey, Ty Birch Bowser, thanks for saying stuff that already was said. <laughs> Astro and Duralius, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all done. But yes, thank you, Ty. Was the path one what I was saying, though? Or was that mm. the flashlights? Because I said, did you have one about the path? Because they should get credit the for it. The paths don't require breaking things. That's what, yeah. Was yes. All right. So Ty Birch Browser came up with that and said, also, there are things go, behind Ty. pictures. Yeah, Ty. Ty guy. And then, bam, now we just talk. Sweet. See, the, the comments in the beginning, if you did them that quick, oftentimes, come on. Or sprinkle just... them. That's like getting the movies oh, and we'll... say, I got to eat all these raisin nets real quick. No, 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 no. Just have you one did ever... just kind of just dump Oh, I them went full us. force. Yeah. 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 You want to watch the movie, have I'm a sip of your drink, I I think that, pop a few raisins. I think most people nap. here that don't like to hear us talk about nonsense are like, thank goodness. That's over. It's We're over and done. Now nonsense. I can skadoot. Thick, are you looking for one? I'm looking through our Twitter comments because someone posted a death count, and I think <laughs> I think it was Sea of Thieves. Like, uh, oh, boy. You can only imagine who's Died the most. Only imagine. I know who's winning on seven days. I know that. I'd like to know what the numbers are, though, specifically. Yeah, I'm, I'm I've died a that. lot you so are, far. You are easily the winner so Jeez, far. I've had days. a rough run. <laughs> everything yeah, you everything keeps yeah. sneaking up on yeah, you. Yeah, they're so quiet. Yeah. Just all of a sudden, whap, whap. That's one of those games you really got to be looking around constantly. <laughs> It's got a, Minecraft is too. I mean, yeah, there's creepers. Creepers will mess you up. I'm enjoying <laughs> Minecraft more than any of the other games right now. That's great. Yeah, I, I think yeah, I am too. It's just it's just fun being in that world. We got a great uh, uh, Alex set us up with a great seed. That world has a lot of different biomes, a lot of variety. I feel personally, as far as seven days go goes, it's it's great to be back. But yes, I feel like it doesn't have the magic. The first raw, I don't think we're feeling the magic because well, I don't think we're happy with a couple of the changes. Yeah, we've expressed, like, especially we've the zombies it. not dropping loot. That, I think, yeah, that was the biggest one. I also uh, feel like 
I don't know if you've forgotten, but seven days was a bit of a grind when we far- started last time. It mm-hmm. was. It was. And it got more mm-hmm. fun as you leveled up. Yeah, yeah definitely. You get all the good stuff. Uh, oh. We don't... Um, uh, the the skill tree, still, I... I That's don't... what's going to suck if 18 comes out. Right. you got to start <laughs> yeah, over on the skill over. tree. Mm-hmm. I haven't been really using my points because I don't know where to go. Listen, it confuses if, me. If, if 18 comes out and it resets everything and we have to get in there and create new characters, I propose... I do too. We cheat... <laughs> and we we get yeah. our we at least get our characters back up to the level they were. Mm-hmm. Uh, I mean, uh, we can't rebuild the buildings, but I would propose we at least do that. Yeah, yeah. and we can just move to another location. Can as we, we do, do that? Give yeah. our, we can just give ourselves experience points or something. Yeah, yeah, cheat. we'll figure it out. I, I agree. Cheat? No, that would be a situation where I feel cheating would be justified. We'll make what it as seamless be? as possible. We've cheated yeah. on someone. That'll be the title. And there that we someone go. is the viewer. We've cheated on you. We've yes. cheated on you. Yeah. <laughs> It's oh. not to me. It's not cheating, we even were, though it is. It's not. We cheated on everybody recently. We were in a hishi uh, video. Hizzy, hizzy, hizzy. We yeah. Do you see? Do you say wifi for <sighs> Wi-Fi? No, I don't say it at all. Then why would you say hishi? Hishi for H I. Because I, I don't know. Because there's an S and an H by each other. Yeah, that's different. Hizzy is H I Z Z Y. But it's yeah, it's hizzy. His H I S. Hizzy. He H E. Then there should be a space. He, there is his between he. each word. I think I do it because the word should. When you have an S, <laughs> really, before yeah. an H, he, she, he, yeah, she, pimping one of their is shirts. He. I don't know any other word that has an S and H next to each other. <laughs> no, that's, that's where you don't know the S and the H. Sh- doesn't but, happen once, does it? It's an acronym. Right, but it's not a word. Right. I know it's an acronym. That's, but you, that's hey, what we, do, you, do you call USA the USA? It's true. Yeah, if you read it. USA? No, you'd where say you, USA. Hey, Neves, where are you from? The USA! 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 Do you realize what a bad argument that is? No, no. that's a perfect so argument. So that's H-I-S-H-E then And it stands with your for argument. individual words. No, we that was the, what are you saying I, right but, now? But they he said say, it's an acronym. We get it's an acronym. Yeah, they, they say, the creators of the channel, yes. they call it hizzy. And I forget every Which time. Which is wrong. You can't do that. That's why you're I've a done sociopath. It. I just did it. This is a, again, Neebs. We've done this. Like I, I, I want to say, it. I know, but I want to say that you have a disorder, but I'm afraid to offend. It could be a gift. The, Let's call it a gift. Yeah, your gift is awful. <laughs> you're a miracle. Yeah, you're so bless him. God yeah, bless the USA. Yeah. God, God bless the USA. <laughs> <laughs> that was a horrible point you made, though. It's a perfect. Do you point. say the USA? To me, it no. Makes you sense, say USA. Yeah. Hey, anyway, the the fun part was we were in a yeah. In we a, don't say H I S H E. A Godzilla. That's my point. That Godzilla. Was, Godzilla. That was the yeah, Absro go. He's talking. I'm sorry. Oh, no, no, yeah, you guys still mad? Ahead. No. Okay. You still on this shit? <laughs> Godzilla. We, yeah, we, we were, were in Godzilla. Godzilla. Yeah. That was fun. Yeah, that movie. We cheated on the channel with another channel, which means we're famous now. Yes. Yeah. Right. Bam. And we all have Lamborghinis that. Daniel's sending us. Yep. He doesn't know it yet, but I've... That was our deal. We hacked I his... sent. I sent the email. Yeah. Would you want a Lamborghini? No. I, I wouldn't either. either. Yeah. No. I'm, I'd just get it and sell it. The other day, I'm driving my truck, mm-hmm. and I see this, like, Porsche pull out in front of me. This thing. I don't know how much Porsches cost. I would assume $80,000. <laughs> yeah. 8000 80. Uh Yeah. So. And then... Uh, I was like, man, look at that car. That thing looks nice. I was like, I would not want that. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking, wait, what if I could have whatever car I want? And I thought, well, I probably want like a new pickup with the back seats and the cup holders, you know, everything. Mm-hmm. And also, <laughs> that's, that's those, your criteria. I need yeah. a back seat and a cup holder. But I like utility stuff. Like we got an electric chainsaw man. last month, and I was like, this is like, I was so excited that we had something that did something. This chops wood up. Like, like I was thinking, what if my truck had like lights on the sides of it, like LEDs? You know, like you're driving around somewhere, like what's that in the woods? Click, light it up. You see what's going on, mm-hmm. or you got like a, hey, what's going on, folks? Like a like you really a PA are a system. You don't need that. <laughs> yeah. Why not? The what if I want to yell at somebody? Of... Well, it's good for the end of days. The lights. Yeah. <laughs> lights Everybody are good. Live. Lights are good if you're uh, fishing, hunting, or camping. A winch. Oh, yeah, yeah, winch, winch, winch is, is going to get you out of the mud if you get stuck, if you do mud. I just got, I just lifted my Jeep, and you talk about your dream car. That was my dream car. I, wa- I wanted a Jeep. I wanted it lifted. I wanted to do mud, and I'm, yeah, go to the mountains. <laughs> this is big 44. I don't need that. I'm you going mud. I get kills. <laughs> All of a sudden, you... I sound like Jimmy Buffett. Go I don't hear everybody. Luther. My voice is stuck. <laughs> Been doing Listen, this impression. I can't... 
you you do Buffett impressions so much. Like now, when I think of Buffett, I just think of your voice. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank it's you. almost yeah. like when I hear like an, like Ron, the real Ronald Reagan. Like he doesn't sound like that. <laughs> oh, when you hear Jimmy Buffett, that's not him. Yeah. Yeah. This poser. <laughs> like you when you hear when you think of Ronald Reagan, you think of like SNL, and then when you hear the real one, well, you're like, well, well, well. I still well. think of the real Ronald Reagan. I mean, I it's been a while. He was a real since, person. Yeah, it's, it's been a while since SNL is. Yeah, they're That's not doing the Reagan stuck in the bit past. anymore. You haven't seen a Reagan skit. They should in a while, bring, yeah, they should bring no, a Reagan no, back. No, there's a good, yeah. yeah. Let's bring those but back. you got a you got an electric chainsaw, and you were stoked about that. Love it. Do you have a gas chainsaw? Uh, you no have trees. What, how are you going to get through a real tree then? <laughs> I have two electric chainsaws. Okay. Oh, you're so when the first one breaks, you yeah, can the use the other one until to get through the rest of it. Yeah, yeah. or until the yeah. other one breaks. I'll tell you what, though, I got electric weed eater, best weed eater ever used. Okay, and an electric. We have a corded electric chainsaw, which works great, and now we have a battery powered, which, I mean, the, right. the trees in my yard, it'll cut all those trees down. Electric's the way to go. Tell yeah. you. talk about yeah. Got oh, my yeah, dream car having to deal with a cord. <laughs> yeah, and the batteries are inter- interchangeable from my yeah. leaf blower, my weed eater, and my chainsaw. Oh, what, is it a Ryobi by chance? It's a Black and Decker. Oh yeah, okay. they've got a good interchangeable system, don't they? Yep. Mm. A nice orange color. Yep. I got multiple batteries. Yeah, and they're affordable. It's a good product, Black and Decker. They're for right the rich. Nah. Needs I mean, it's rich like right there in the middle. Getting Black and yeah. Decker. <laughs> Walking around with his electric chainsaw. Look at me. <laughs> Just twirling it through the neighborhood. <laughs> yep. Hey, you need me to cut anything for you? Let Man, you I, just plug it in. After our last hurricane, I was all over the neighborhood being a hero. I bet mm. you were. I yeah, bet you, you were. Plug thing anywhere. Yep. I, was, I, I ran like a coward. Yep. But Dug a uh, hole in the dirt and told you guys it. earlier on the, on the car tip. Uh, yeah, I think this week I might be getting Cuphead in my car. That's oh yeah, exciting. the, the yeah. Tesla update. Yeah, puts Cuphead. I'm gonna buy a, cu- a controller then for that. You know, that'll make charging fun. Hmm. Yeah. I'm I'm interested to drive the Tesla pickup truck. Yeah, it looks like uh, something from Halo. What's it the does. Really? from Halo? The, the Warthog. The Warthog. It looks hog. yeah okay. Yeah, look it up. It kind of does. No, they're yeah. sharp looking trucks. They are. I'm and the stats on it uh seem pretty good. Yeah. As far as towing capacity. And distance. Never even seen this thing. Isn't that sharp? What do you think, Abstro? I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to learn to like it. Why? It's what? crazy looking, isn't it? I wanna check it out. But I remember when they st- I'm not giving up my Jeep, but I wanna check it out. Like at certain times cars just start changing, you're like, Oh, that's a weird looking car. Then a decade later, like that's the norm. Right. It doesn't look weird to you anymore. Right. You know what? I recently saw, um, I guess, the the latest, but it's a concept car from Rolls Royce. And it's freaking insane. Oh, the wheels were all like the covered. The wheels were all that was crazy I don't covered. That. Everything. I mean, you want to look up Ro- Rolls Royce concept car. I watched the video of Yeah, me too. Check. I watched, the luggage yeah. came out the, the sides. The luggage comes out the side. It's all about luxury. When you walk in, you, like the roof comes up, so you don't even have to come down. Like you could walk into it standing Perfect up. Perfect for rainy days. So you could sit without being crouched. Um, How low is this car? Huh? That's, that's normal. That's the thing with me, though. Like we live in a place that gets hurricanes. That one. I don't want a car that's that low to the ground. Well, it's not. Well, you got to see it. I mean, anyway, my point being one, is, Astro. and this is a horrible thing to talk about for the podcast for a lot of people listening, but that's it. And that looks dumb as hell. It's that, yeah. crazy looking. <laughs> that the, looks the, like something I wheels. drew when I was seven. Yeah. Uh, Mommy, uh, look at this car. The uh, wheels are covered. The doors go up. It looks like a Batmobile. A little yeah. Bit. It looks a little bit like that. Yeah. The, the squareness on the wheels freak me out. I don't like the wheel look. I can't well, wait. The wheels, it's a you, flat tire. Because you Someone don't trust to change you, it. You don't see yeah. them. Yeah, they don't. Yeah, right. It's an Airstream what? thing on that wheel covering, apparently, but whatever. Yeah. Yeah, I uh, mean it's cool looking, but uh, it's yeah. it's co- cool, weird looking. Yeah, uh, it's not my style. It's a, yeah, it's an no. odd design. But the thing is, what, like what you're saying, in 20 years, a lot of That's cars look could normal. look like that. But aren't you worried? Like it's it's not common to have a foot of water on the road around here. No, I my for me number one priority. If I were to get a, another vehicle or a different one. I'd, I'd really like to have it to the point where I could drive through three feet of water. I don't, I don't understand anyone who has a Jeep mm-hmm. who doesn't have the exhaust. Snorkel. Yeah, exactly. The snorkel, which I mean, you I mean, I get it. it. You're going to be it's raised. A, you don't need it, but I would want it if I were to have it because I want to be able to. A, yeah. It's a deep water fording kit. That's what it is. What's that? Deep water fording. That's that 
the snorkel yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah, deep water fording. Yeah, I got to do one of those when I was in the Marine Corps, and I got my Humvee license, and we went out, and there was just a big fresh rain that week, and we were out at some landing zone, and I remember driving the Humvee with, there was probably like six other people in the back of it, and it was my time driving. We were driving th- in this like little pond, and it got so full of water that I was on my tippy toes. And my, so I could have my head out of the water, the and I was still driving through. Yes, inside the car is full of water. It was wow. insane. That's crazy. It's so awesome, I was though. breathing. It was so cool. <laughs> and like you know, just chugging on through the bottom until and, that last few inches of water <laughs> yeah. fills up. But they knew how how deep it was yeah, that you could. Sure and even if like, we went under a little bit, it wasn't that big of a pond. As long so as you were through stop. the other side. Yeah, but that awesome. was that was an amazing experience. My neighbor needed one of those because during the hurricane, he made a mistake. Yeah, he tried to drive his van. Dude. Into water he should not have gone into. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I'm scared to death of water with my car. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Because it yeah. just is a battery, and that's not going to be a winning battle. But yeah. uh, So I avoid it very much. As you should. Yep. Anyway, yeah. Deep water fording kit would help. <laughs> On a Tesla. On a Tesla. <laughs> <laughs> that would be great to <laughs> Big see. Big-ass snorkel. They look, they look badass, too, in my opinion. I really like the way they look. Yeah. I, I get why some people don't have but if i were to have a jeep i I would make that a priority i don't know why i'm, I'm the opposite like i'd like to have it but i hate the way it looks oh yeah, yeah. i think it makes it look more like ah come on and there's a, a knife that comes out of the side it'll stab you <laughs> luggage i don't know <laughs> i got lights on the side i like bad like i like your little gadget thing it's like, like lights you know i don't care about the talking to people or yeah. burr, but i mean i'm all about <sighs> don't talk to that pedal mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah but i i like all the the stupid things that that aren't stupid, that can really help you when the shit Functional. goes down. Yeah. Like to see more buns. Yeah. Yes. More buns? See more buns. Yeah, you squeeze, <laughs> the, <laughs> squeeze the little the and the, thing. And the little plastic guy moves everybody. everybody behind you. Oh, nice. Okay. I'm not yeah. familiar. It's handy. I feel like um, being able to type a message that pops up for the people behind you. <laughs> yeah. Would little, be That's a very practical thing. Little crawler, little digital crawler screen. Yes. Yeah, but you know, that's awful though. That's an awful idea. Why? I mean, because nobody's, so many people aren't going to be nice. Have a nice no, day. No, of course they won't be. So that's the problem. Please you pass can, me. Have a nice I'm day. I'm going to stay this speed. Or mm-hmm. PA system. Right. Mm. Go to hell. Your lights aren't on. That happened to me twice in one trip the other day. Your lights were on? No. People, I, I saw people coming out of like Walmart with their lights off. Fla- oh. Flashed him. Nothing. You think I'm just flashing for fun? You're not going. I mean, this is a parking lot. There's not a cop waiting down the street. Mm-hmm. When <laughs> you flash, it. there's two reasons in there. There's either a cop down the road, and you're yeah. trying to like you get her to slow down, or two, your lights your are lights on. are off. What if they do think you're flashing for fun? Look at that crazy guy loving his lights. <laughs> he, he must love flashing them lights like that. I mean, it's, it is fun. I know it would be abused, <laughs> but I would love a system where I could send a text to the car in front of me. Yeah, like if every car was just wired into the same network and had a little screen in there. What yeah. would you say? Uh, sometimes uh, merge right, especially left lane drivers. Get out of the pass lane. Yeah. Nice yeah. You're in the fast lane. Please merge right. Oh, you right. know what? That might be a third reason to flash your lights. Come on, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, right. Yeah. Yeah. Come on. There was also a way when I was uh, I was told when I was a kid, sometimes you've got to be careful because if you flash somebody and their lights are off, sometimes those are gang, gang members. Gang members. And they are waiting for you. Yeah. What a weird yeah. thing Who to the, be like. That's what probably gang a bullshit. would do that? I, know, I don't yeah. know. That sounds nuts. Why did they That's tell us gang. this? That's a dumb gang. I didn't even yeah, so know you were like, Yeah. Yeah. Like a gang's waiting to like initiate yeah, somebody. So whoever somebody. flashes them to follow them, <laughs> kill them. I have several times I have flashed somebody and then went, oh, fuck. Okay. I'm going to be <laughs> careful. I'm going to watch, make sure they're not pulling out a gun. Went home, turn your lights off. Yeah. No, no. I, the- I think they would do it on the drive by. You know, it's always coming this way. So that would be like, I don't think they followed you. Right. Oh my God. I would have been so well, scared if I thought that. Bulletproof glass. I'd rather have that than, a, than that Porsche. <laughs> Wouldn't that be something? What would you rather have? Bulletproof glass or bulletproof glass? The, oh, okay, just that. Yeah, yeah I was going to say with a snorkel. Mm. One's going to be a lot more functional than the other. In where I live, I'll I'll go with a snorkel. There you go, <laughs> smart man. <laughs> okay. Anyone else? I I don't care. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what can we talk fight. about right now that ends up being like, wow, thank God they roped it back in. Oh, wait a second. I don't think Our we sponsor? Wrote it out yet. Yeah. Our sponsor could do that. Oh, wow. my God. Oh, thank God. Manscaped. Manscaped. Yes. My balls feel fantastic because <laughs> yeah, I use it. Yeah, I do so too. Oh, shit. Yep. So last time, 
it's been a while. Last time I was the only one that had used the the wonderful product. Yeah. I since then have used the the wipes that they give you for uh-huh. the uh, for the testicles because mm-hmm. it's like why you know you have deodorants deodorant yeah. for your armpits. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And really, I mean, three hours later, I went down there and it smelled like a dozen roses you went how'd you do that you don't you're not very flexible are you i could i can get right up there you should stretch more my, you can, get, can under, you under my nose oh, yeah. I'm, I'm having a hard time picturing that right now well, <laughs> he rolls up into a ball like an armadillo can you just show us real quick <laughs> how you do it? No, i'll send you a picture i'm not doing it now and manscaped is number one in men's below the belt grooming they offer precision engineered tools for your family jewels and thick tell me about a time where you hurt your balls yeah, yes, before but- I was using Manscaped, mm-hmm. I mean, probably once every five times I would nick it. Yeah. I would nick them. <laughs> and, and I would curse my family's name yeah. for giving me hairy balls. And yeah. I'm like, God, why do I have these hairy balls? And then now, I didn't, yeah, it's, it's freedom. Silky freedom. Like a newborn mountain goat. <laughs> That's why Manscaped has redesigned the electric trimmer for that very reason. Their Love More 2.0 has proprietary skin safe technology that actually works because I really was free balling it down there. So this trimmer will not nick or snag your nuts. Always use the right tools for the job. Your balls will thank you and get 20% off plus free shipping and a free travel bag. And six pounds of gold. <laughs> what? <laughs> six pounds. <laughs> All right. Maybe not the gold. But you will get a free travel bag with the code Neves. <laughs> you might. There might be an error. Yeah, yeah there might, you never know. It's a lottery. But use the code Neebs at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping at manscaped.com and use promo code Neebs. Thank you, Manscaped. Absolutely. I really enjoy it. It's also, a good product. Uh, recently, at a great price for, for free yeah. shipping, for real. Yeah. It's a really oh, good yeah. deal. Recently, we've lost six pounds of gold here. So if you, the viewer, has found... It's probably ours. Any gold, it's ours. Yeah, let's go ahead it's and send it back. Just send it was it. just shy of six. Let's not exaggerate. That's true. You're right, you're right. Like 5. How much do you 9. think that would be worth? How much is a pound of gold worth? Can um, we Google my, that? Can we go- yeah, my guess is a, 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 the ounce. My guess is an ounce is... I don't know, six to eighteen hundred bucks. I'll ounce. say six thousand dollars. How much is a ounce. pound? A for, bar for, of, for six pounds. How much is a bar? My, my, I'm saying a bar of gold weighs more than a pound, right? Yes, uh-huh. I would imagine. I think they're so, kilo bars, probably like two. I'm just curious how much a bar weighs. Google says about fifteen thousand six hundred dollars for a pound. Okay, that was off. Fifteen thousand dollars a pound. Damn, could you, fifteen thousand six, almost sixteen. We've definitely lost some gold. So if you find it, you need to send it to. We us. need our Quick. gold back. You search one more thing, please. Yeah. What How you much need? does a bar of gold weigh? I don't know. I don't. Or a kilo. I don't sell cocaine. Kilogram. You don't have to sell cocaine. Kilo. Twenty-five pounds. Two point five. A bar, a bar, a bar is twenty-five is it 25? pounds. Yeah. So our six pounds isn't even close to a bar. Well, it's but about I a quarter of a bar. But I feel like we had a bar at least. Sounds heavy, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, I'm pretty sure yeah. we lost a bar. <laughs> we did. We lost <laughs> a bar. This, name of this podcast is We Lost All Our Gold. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that'll be, that'll be the subtitle. Yeah. We'll, I'll have it. Yeah. Please double. send it back. Do you, yeah. guys, do you own any gold, though? <laughs> what? I don't even think I own any gold. No, I don't like I gold. Don't. Oh, yeah. I hear advertisements I to uh, invest in it all the time. Right. right. And invest in gold. Except for the senior citizens who are yeah. still watching television. Yeah. If They're you're hearing in advertisements, fiber. it's probably the wrong time to do it. <laughs> yeah. No, you're not wrong. <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Yeah, I'm a silver guy. Yeah. Just I like the color. I like the look well, of yeah, it. Okay. Okay. I, I didn't know yeah. if you had like no, a silver. No, I'm not. Are you I'm invested not in, in silver? Stash. You got a silver mine? <laughs> You know, it's something that, man, this is the 90s and even early 2000s or whatever. It's like the gold handles on the, you know, just the gold trim inside your home. Oh, yeah. You know, all that was just so, I don't know. I always thought it looked like shit. I always thought, like, back when it was like, oh, this is really nice. I'd be like, really? It looks like shit to me. I would prefer a a shinier, like, gray metal. Yeah. Yeah. But don't you always wonder, like, when it comes to fashion, like, especially in homes, you're like, okay, Boy, grandma's place looks dumb. Our house looks nicer. And then you're like, well, your house is going to look dumb too. Like, yeah. is it, is oh, it just your kids, constantly your evolving? Your kids are going to hate the way your house looks, yes. I mean, I, for the most I part. I think my house looks good, but in 10 years from now, I'm going to go, ugh. I don't know. Probably this, not. Yeah, Tastes change. No, times change. You're going to you're gonna like it, and other people are not going to like it. That's why when you see the old guy in the, in the, wearing his 
slacks, right? Like you see like a 75 year old man wearing pants that you go, man, those are from the seventies. What are you doing? Cause he loved them. But you know and what? He holds on to them. Let's look at it this way. Like in the fifties, people look sharp. Thirties and forties, people look sharp. Then it got weird, didn't it? Yep. It did. It well, did. that's got yeah, real psychedelics weird. came into the seventies, eighties, nineties. Weird. Well, weird is you know it was weird though. Just different. It was weird way earlier too. Then it got normal just for you what, mean a like few the decades. revolution days. Yeah, yeah. That's any weird. of well, any of the revolution. How did they not know they were ever doing it. Go back eight thousand years with the eight thousand years, especially then when it's so hot and stuff, and like mm-hmm. all these layers of thick. Right. Like they really. Put a bunch of crap Wigs, on. Big collars on the wrist. God. Goofy <laughs> stuff around the neck. They were all dirty, like, too. Prince dressed yeah. like that for a while, too, though. Yeah, Prince and, can, he, and he killed it. He though. can pull it off. Well, the wig and, thing, if I'm not mistaken, was to hide syphilis. Okay. Like, that was what that was why the wigs became kind of a... Uh, we know you got syphilis. <laughs> Stu- <laughs> stupid you question. Shut up nothing. about my wig. I love the, my wig. The Lock. wig. How is the wig hiding syphilis? Hold on, let me look it up. And I think of syphilis as a... You know, uh, a sexually transmitted isn't that disease. What a lot of rabbits have. Rabbits get syphilis. Do you know that? I think that's the new title. Rabbits, rabbits get, get syphilis. syphilis. Pretty sure it's rabbits. Plus, yeah. where's our gold? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Just a longer title. Well, koala bears get chlamydia. Yes, I've heard that. I heard about that. All right. So the symptoms of syphilis, sores, rashes, blindness, dementia, and tellingly hair loss. So because of its association with the disease, baldness was a highly embarrassing condition. Thick. Long hair was trendy, uh, practically a status symbol. Going bald could make you lose your reputation. Yes, even if you were the 18th century equivalent of Vin Diesel. You see where this is going. Wig makers, wig makers started cranking out artificial coiffures. Coiffures? Coiffures? I don't know. Okay. He, she. <laughs> <laughs> Victim of syphilis hid their hair loss with wigs, sometimes made of human hair, but quite frequently made of more low cost options like horse and goat. So, yeah, those wigs. Hmm. It was it was Why fashionable at the time. white though? Couldn't they just use like horse if, hair? Yeah, I, don't know, I don't know if that was just a sign of like. Uh, it looked dumb. It did look dumb. I agree, but I wonder if it was just like uh, you're like you're old and wise. It's fun to see know. some of the judges like over in Parliament and stuff like that still wear. Yeah, those. Not they, all of them. They got to know it doesn't look good. They, yeah, it's, they got it. Right? That's strange. a tradition. But everything always ends up like you said coming back. The '80s, those I always felt like, come on, acid wash is never going to come back. It came back for a little. It's still kind of back. Which is weird. Acid wash. Yep. Everything comes back. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Including like powdered wigs. And it's going to happen. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and syphilis will be roaring back in here. <laughs> yes. <laughs> here come, boys. Now, although I think that's almost good enough to end on, we should probably drive a little bit more. Sure. Why don't we... Uh, what do we... Any news? Well, what do you mean? I don't know. Sometimes you have these wonderful stories that you run across. Yeah. <sighs> There was any yes. gaming news, anything in the gaming world. Um, PlayStation. The last, yeah, PlayStation uh, State of Play was just going on. The only news I saw from it so far that had anything was that The Last of Us Two is coming out in February. Man, that to me you would think would be a playthrough, and I've watched only like an hour and a half of the first one. Yeah, and, it's and like I, Naughty Dog, Naughty Dog kills it. Like anything they make, it's like it's playing, it's like playing a movie. Was there a scene in that one? You've seen the whole thing? Yeah, The Last of Us. Was there? Is, I might be getting this mixed up. Well, this scene that I'm talking about was a dead girl on the ground and it started playing it in reverse. And then you see she lifts up off the ground and you could see her flying through the sky, going back up to the building that she just got thrown out of. Different. Yeah, that's something different. I don't know what you're talking about. Yeah. Okay. Maybe. I don't know what Wrong the hell game, was. No. That was the kind of go. You do it. No, it's that not. Was, gonna... That blew me away, though, when I watched the trailer and I thought it was something for the new one coming out. I know we're a gaming channel, but I'm going to pop back to the news thing because I thought it was definitely an interesting story this week and i'm sure some of you've heard of it the dude that drowned proposing to his wife why would you bring that up because it's interesting to uh, me. you know what yeah, did you, you hear about it? it all down like no it, it's not a down thing it's just really course interesting it's a down yeah. thing. did you hear about it it's not a down thing it's not it. a down thing it's a drown thing did you hear about it <laughs> no no one heard about it i never no, heard, I don't, yes, I don't I heard about the obituaries it. Uh, no, I, it's I, didn't, just, I didn't hear about it's it. It's crazy. Okay, so like, calm down. Okay. All right, we need happen. to hear it. Right, I, I know you're a little fluffy puff. Damn it. Freaking meat. Yeah. Goodbye, guys. Yeah, dumb world. You're, yeah, you, doesn't have all you drama. do is face trouble your I'm whole not life. facing it. I'm, I'm talking it's about it. It's an interesting story. It really I'm is. sure I don't even heard about so, it. All right, no, hit me with it. This couple, um, they went and took this like the vacation of a lifetime, and they rented oh. this place. It was like $1,300, $1,700 a night off the coast of Africa. And it's like an underwater submerged uh, room. 
So they got it for like four or five nights, and he dove down without gear. I mean, I, he might have had a snorkel, and proposed to her with a piece of paper, which on I, because she was like filming it from inside, and then he had to flip it over and ask the question on it. He didn't make it to the top. After all Damn, this. Damn, how deep was this? I don't remember the exact... Which part d- did you not think we already assumed happened? Like, you're like, no, wait, listen. Like, which part is that? I'm like... No, how it happened. Why, one, why would you have that message on a piece of paper if you're underwater? Well, you think it would be on some sort of card. Vinyl like, or something. It, it's got to be on <laughs> like, something, yeah. Yeah, and then have it all on one side so you don't have to, like, flip it around and have her read more because you're underwater and you're holding your breath. Uh, that is awful. Yeah, that's no, terrible. We you... can't, we can't unknow. Okay, oh, wow. <laughs> just remove all that. Like, no, no. How well, did you I not know that wasn't something we it could just, I knew it was awful, but he Here, started Here's something it. to go out on. Well, we're not going to go out on it. All right. Once you started, I was Back like... Back to the... Uh, well, um, there was Last a Bubblegum Festival footage that you were wrong <laughs> yeah. about. Oh yeah, no, forget that. It was nonsense. Well, hmm. you mentioned the revolution earlier. I saw a play, Hamilton the musical. Yes, that, was, that had to do with the revolution. That was wonderful. That was probably one of my favorite musicals that I've ever seen. Right up there with Mama Mia. You saw Mia. it because you went to Chicago. I did go to Chicago. Yes, to go to a wedding. I did. And that Four. was our buddy Muggs uh-huh. and our good friend Ulala. Ooh, la, la. And he didn't propose to her underwater, did he? No, no. It was a, it was in a room filled with oxygen. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it was nerds. actually an EA play two years ago. Yeah, we were and, there. And yeah. it was part of a live stream with mm-hmm. 300,000 people watching. And to see it all come together was great. Saw some old friends, Pony Lion. Uh, Stone Mountain was there. Chris Mansell. Braddock. Yep, Braddock. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, Braddock. Uh, Syphilis Rabbit was there. Syphilis Rabbit, Dan Mitri. All of, all of our good it's friends. Yeah. Or a lot of our good friends, at least. Had a blast. It was my first time in Chicago. Have it's, any of you have you, any of you guys been to Chicago? I've spent a lot of time in Many Chicago. Many times. Yeah. Many times here I as well. Frequent. I used to date a girl from Chicago. Chicago, <laughs> Chicago. I feel I feel so uncultured been. because I feel like you guys know the place like the cool back city. of your hand yeah. now. It's a great city, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I had a, a deep, deep dish, di- deep dish pizza. Had a boy, tell me, Lou, Lou Amati's. Did you know. not take a picture of it? Yeah, I took. Can I please look? So yeah. you had some patience because you got to get there and order that. And Depends hang on where you go, though. Yeah. A lot of times. Uh, hold on, hold on. What did you think of the deep dish? Because it's one thing that I'd, I'd love. I can't wait to try at legit. least a, a legit one that locals say is really good. Pizza Not like Uno the, or Due up there, the oh, two biggies. Let me correct the name. Lou Malnati's. And I guess it's pretty Illuminati's. famous. Illuminati's. It does sound like Illuminati's. Oh. It is the ever the ever seeing pizza. Uh, and they like tweeted to me and stuff, which was cool um, because someone was like, hey, you should go down there and get a pizza. And they they tagged me and I was like, oh, I went there and they're like tweeting back and forth. And they actually deliver. They they ship pizzas out to people for like thirty five dollars a piece. Though. See, like that's across to me, the that's country, nothing. across the country. Yeah, that's that's really not bad. Do it. Okay. Simon. Do it. Yeah. You know what? Us. I think that would be. We can put it in my mom's oven or, or Apsro's oven. I don't think I'd want to. I th- want to do it, stream. just not for you guys. Oh, thank right. you. Thinking about just myself. God bless your soul. Um, yeah. yeah, but I mean, if we had an oven here, see, there's an oven at my house, and then I'm there, and then when it's there, I can just eat it all myself. You're not right? gonna finish. You're so not gonna, much better, dude. No, each I'll piece was it. like a pound. I'll it was it. heavy. Thirty-five bucks. That's not bad at all. It, it was. It was great. Um, I want to see not the picture. I'm gonna say it's my favorite, but. I enjoyed it thoroughly. That's a better out than what I had. You're right. Yep. Yep. No, let's go back to that. Yeah. <laughs> a guy choked on a deep dish pizza while proposing <laughs> to his wife. <laughs> and got syphilis. <laughs> yeah. And has to wear a wig to his funeral. <laughs> <laughs> right. As a bunch of gold was shipped to his place. Yeah. By the way, in case you've forgotten, we are missing... So a much lot of gold. gold. So a lot. Much. A lot of yeah. gold. So just, if you find it, please Ship send it, it back. Yeah, NeebsGaming.net. Don't worry about the costume jewelry. We don't need that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's a bar. It's a full bar of gold. It might be yeah, seven. Pretty sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you.